Spiky bits. Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the uh, Mechanicum Thalax Cohort. This is actually a new unit in the Horus Heresy series of uh, 30k miniatures from Forge World. Uh, semi sentient, uh, you know, cyborg robot on the very cutting edge of what I guess the Imperium and humans think is allowed for AI. AI was a big issue, of course, in the, in the background, the lore of, uh, of 40k, because, you know, the Age of Strife supposedly was uh, perpetrated by robots becoming too smart and taking over Earth and things like that, and it's all, you know, there's not a whole lot of fluff there, but that's the basic premise for it. So, this here is actually a very cool kit. It comes with three models. Uh, they're all mounted on 40 millimeter bases. A very, very good looking kit, and... You know, you can definitely feel them in the game. They're they're definitely playable in the games of Horus Heresy. So here's here's your parts list here. Let me get it in the frame. So lots of multi parts. You can definitely pose them kind of however you want. And if we flip it over, it kind of gives you an idea. If you're not familiar with the Horus Heresy series of uh, miniature rules, there you go, right there. That's basically one of the completed models. They all kind of look different, and they're they're all multi part. The guns uh, all look different, and of course they have the uh, the chain blades there that you could put on the end. All the all the lightning guns are different in this kit, so you're go always going to kind of have a little bit of you know cool cool look, cool differential to your models, but they're not going to be 100% uniform, which is kind of weird for robots. You would think they'd all be the same, but that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at the the models themselves. Here's the uh, lightning lightning guns here. Like I said, there's three different three different looks to them. You got a couple different different models there. The legs are pretty pretty neat looking. More of a kind of uh, cantered knee, almost like the uh, Warhound Titans there. Definitely not like the Dreadnoughts. I'm still not even sure how those things walk. <laughs> I guess it's like the bone of the bee. It just defies physics, so to speak. So you got the different your different arms here, some power cables. Uh, these are actually jetpack thrusters for the backs of these backpacks here. You can see the main thrusters, and then you've got some uh, uh, directional thrusters, kind of, I guess, sort of thing there in the design. There's your uh, chain blades and lots and lots of legs. Here's the heads themselves on their own sprue with a spare uh, hand that goes on the, the end there. And then these are actually the, these lock onto the torsos there, and then the legs go into the, uh, the sockets right there. So, but like I said, pretty cool kit. I'm not exactly sure the cost on these. Oh, I guess it's around... It says $46 on the package, so I'm not sure how accurate that is. But pretty cool stuff, lots of different pieces. You could do a whole lot of different conversions and things like that with these or just feel them, you know, feel them as is. I don't think there's rules for these guys in actual games of 40K yet, but, um, you know, you could run them for a slew of different things, counts as. Never let anybody tell you you can't run counts as because that's just fun. <laughs> I really enjoy counts as because you can really push the envelope of your hobby and your you know, the, whatever you can feel on the tabletop. So don't let anybody keep you down on that counts ass stuff because I do it all the time. And Well, I, it's just fun. It, everybody's hobby is different. Don't, don't let anybody keep you down there. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, neat little look at some, some very cool, very cool models. These are actually prize support for the Horse Heresy Weekender we're running here at Spiky Bits uh, in January, uh, mid-January 2014. So definitely check out the, uh, the details on the blog about that one if you want to get involved. There's a whole bunch of prizes that will be given away randomly throughout the uh, throughout the, the weekend event there. And they're running them simultaneously. I think there's one at the Games Workshop in Memphis. I think there's one out in L.A. at Dice of War. And I think there's also one in Washington State, but I'm not 100% sure on all that. i got some guys coming up to help with that. So that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, make sure you stay in the trenches. Subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel here. Also check out the blog, blog.spikybits.com. Spiky Bits.